The big story all day coming from the nation's second city where all eyes were on the governing free national movement. Prime Minister Hubert Ingram and leaders of the party joined those on the ground to meet with party members and supporters at Christ the King Hall. Their mission to bring clarity to the many questions surrounding the firing of Cabinet Minister Kenneth Russell. A packed hall spilled over to the outside as some described what was supposed to be a private meeting as a mini rally. By the time it was all over, it was standing room only as FNM leader and Prime Minister Hubert Ingram addressed party supporters in Christ the King Hall in Freeport this evening. The FNM leader met with party members to give an account of the events leading up to the firing of High Rock MP and Minister of Housing Ken Russell from the Cabinet of the Bahamas. The FNM leader said the party is in search of new talent and some time ago it was decided that the party will not run Russell in High Rock this time around. The Prime Minister indicated that he gave the job of notifying Russell to Deputy Prime Minister Brent Simonet, but he said Simonet returned with a message from the High Rock Rock MP containing profanity and that he decided to take the job on himself. According to Ingram, he then met Russell and placed an offer on the table, but the then housing minister said he needed some time to decide and an offer was placed on the table. But the prime minister said the matter took a new twist last week, Saturday, when at a meeting on Grand Bahama, a High Rock supporter was able to discuss an investment project slated for the East that had been turned down four times by the cabinet. The prime minister said after that meeting, he then then told Ken Russell that what had happened was improper and could result in his firing. He said following that incident, Russell made several public statements and he then contacted Russell and requested a meeting and that it was when the housing minister was fired from the cabinet. The prime minister said what he did wasn't personal, but he did what any prime minister worth his salt would do. He said while Russell's recent statements to the media offended him as FNM leader and prime minister, he said he doesn't take it personal and will never do anything to hurt Russell. Russell because he said his political foes at the PLP and not former housing minister Ken Russell.